Welcome to the second part of the cost classification chapter for the purpose of managerial decision making. In the first part, we have learned various types of cost classifications and the definition and examples of various cost. Now we are going to learn about those cost using some numbers. Here we can see the data of recent month of a company regarding cost and expenses, direct material, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead, fixed manufacturing overhead, total manufacturing overhead. After adding 15,000 and 28,000, the total manufacturing overhead is 43,000 and variable selling expense 12,000, fixed selling expense 18,000, total selling expense after adding 12,000 and 18,000, total selling expense 30,000, variable administrative expense 4,000, fixed administrative expense 25,000, total administrative expense 29,000. From these amounts, we are going to learn about various types of cost classification here. We know that product cost include the direct materials and direct levers and manufacturing overhead. But here, there are two separate manufacturing overhead. But in case of product cost, we know that all the manufacturing overhead, it may be variable or fixed, would be considered as manufacturing overhead. I mean here the manufacturing overhead is 43,000. Here, 43,000 manufacturing overhead and direct labor 35,000 direct material 69,000 that means the product cost is 47,000 on the other hand we know that period cost includes the selling expense and administrative expense but here we can see two selling expense one is variable selling expense another one is fixed selling expense we will consider both the selling expense here total amount is 30,000 this is the 30,000 selling expense and here there are two administrative expense variable administrative expense and fixed administrative expense that means total administrative expense is 29,000 so this is the 29,000 of administrative expense ultimately the period cost is 59,000 this product cost would be shown in the balance sheet as a inventory initially and after a while when we will sell some portion of the production that portion would be transferred to income statement but in case of period cost the full amount would be transferred to the income statement as a expense from this same example we are going to learn about the conversion cost we know that by using the conversion cost we convert the direct material into finished product to convert the direct material into finished product, we use labor and manufacturing overhead. Here, there are two manufacturing overhead, variable and fixed. Ultimately, total manufacturing overhead 43,000. This is the manufacturing overhead 43,000 and the labor 35,000. So, ultimately, the conversion cost is 78,000. And what is prime cost? We already know that the direct material and direct labor combinedly known as prime cost here direct material 69,000 and here direct labor 35,000 ultimately the prime cost is 104,000 from the same example we are going to learn about variable manufacturing cost and total fixed cost variable manufacturing cost will include all the variable manufacturing cost direct material and direct labor and variable manufacturing over it here only the 15,000 portion, not the fixed manufacturing overhead. Here, only the 15,000 would be considered as variable manufacturing overhead. 15,000, direct labor, 35,000, and direct material, 69,000. After adding this amount, the 1,19,000 is the variable manufacturing cost. On the other hand, total fixed cost, all the fixed cost should be shown combinedly. Here we can see fixed manufacturing overhead 28,000, 
fixed selling expense 18000 and fixed administrative expense 25000 these are all the fixed cost after adding all the fixed cost we can see 71000 is the total fixed cost in the first chapter we have discussed that there is a difference between the managerial accounting and financial accounting and we prepare financial accounting for the external reporting and we prepare managerial accounting for the internal management and in case of external reporting we prepare traditional income statement this is the common income statement i mean generally we prepare the traditional income statement for the external reporting but for managerial decision making for the internal management we prepare income statement by following the contribution format income statement so in the next slide we are going to learn how to prepare traditional format income statement and contribution format income statement before going to the next slide we need to know what is merchandising company a merchandising company is a company which do not manufacture or produce any product rather they purchase the product from supplier then they resell the product and in case of merchandising company we need to prepare contribution format income statement for managerial decision making i mean besides the traditional income statement we need to prepare contribution format income statement for managerial decision making traditional format income statement here we can see both the format traditional format and contribution format in the first stage i am going to explain the traditional format income statement here we can see we are deducting the cost of goods sold from the sales to get the gross margin and after that we are deducting the selling and administrative expense from the gross margin to arrive at the net operating income here the sales is 12000 and cost of goods sold is 6000 by deducting the cost of goods sold from the sales we will get the gross margin or gross profit from that gross margin or gross profit we have to deduct the selling and administrative expense here selling expense 3100 and administrative expense 1900 total selling and administrative expense is 5000 by deducting the selling and administrative expense from the gross margin we will get the net operating income and this is the traditional format i am repeating this is the common format which is used for external reporting and we already know that external reporting means we need to prepare financial statement and for financial accounting we need to follow this format and here cost of goods sold can be calculated by adding the purchase with the beginning merchandise inventory after that we need to direct the ending merchandise inventory alternatively we can also calculate the cost of goods sold by multiplying the per unit cost with the units sold this is the process of calculating the cost of goods sold and this is the traditional format of preparing income statement and this traditional format or common format is used for distributing to the external users now i will discuss the contribution format income statement already i have said that contribution format income statement is prepared for the managerial decision making and the basic difference in this contribution format and traditional format is that in contribution format we show all the variable expense in the first stage then we show all the fixed expense in the second step that's why in the first part of this tutorial we have learned the classification of cost on the basis of 
financial statement there are two types of cost variable cost and fixed cost this is the financial statement income statement is one part of financial statement and for the purpose of preparing financial statement in managerial decision making we need to separate all the variable cost and all the fixed cost in contribution format income statement we show the sales then we deduct all the variable expense here we can see cost of goods sold 6000 variable selling expense 600 variable administrative expense 400 total 7000 all the variable expense will be deducted from the sales to get the contribution margin this is the contribution format income statement in contribution format income statement we find out the contribution margin and contribution margin can be calculated by deducting the all variable expense from the sales this is the formula contribution margin sales minus all variable expense if after deducting all the variable expense from sales we will get contribution margin shortly cm and from this contribution margin we will deduct all the fixed expense here fixed selling expense fixed administrative expense total fixed expense 4000 after deducting the fixed expense from the contribution margin we will get the net operating income so what is the basic difference between traditional format income statement and contribution format income statement here we can see in contribution format income statement we sep separately show the variable expense and fixed expense and this contribution format income statement we get the contribution margin by deducting all the variable expense from the sales revenue and this format is essential to take managerial decision making as i have already said that the contribution format income statement is used as an internal planning and decision making tool its emphasis on cost behavior helps in cost volume profit analysis management performance appraisals budgeting so these are the tools we can use for managerial decision making and to do that type of calculations we have to prepare contribution format income statement besides contribution format income statement helps managers organize data pertaining to numerous decisions such as product line analysis pricing use of scarce resources make or buy analysis so these are the some examples in which we can use the contribution format income statement in managerial decision making i am repeating as a manager we take decisions by doing various types of calculations or measurement such as cost volume profit analysis management performance appraisals budgeting product line analysis pricing use of scarce resources make or buy analysis so these are the some decisions in which we can apply the contribution format income statement idea in managerial decision making that's why in managerial accounting we have to know the definition of all cost especially the cost classification on the basis of cost behavior i mean variable cost fixed cost and mixed cost we prepare the contribution format income statement by deducting all the variable cost from sales to get the contribution margin and this idea is used in most of the managerial calculations or measurement for managerial decision thank you